Hi, welcome to Save O Say A Lot. Today, I've come out to do a quick harvest on uh, some radishes and other vegetables that are ready to go. But I do want to show you the radishes and what happens when you leave them in the soil too long and what you can still salvage. These are the radishes and they were in a three-way container that you may have seen me harvest the collard greens out of. But this is what happens. They split and so I don't think that they're going to be edible. But what I can still harvest is the greens. I'm going to put these in a lettuce salad that I'm making so that the total plant is not lost. There's always a way to salvage something in the garden. Eating from your garden is very practical. I added my radish leaves and I show how I shredded those up and there were throughout the whole salads along with my gobo tomatoes my green peppers I added some sliced egg just for protein sake and this is going to be very delicious I put the carrots into the food processor and chopped those up real fine and I am going to enjoy a salad mainly made from my garden. Mmm, so delicious. I'm harvesting some red onions and I just dug this one up and it's fairly large. Now, this is the one I dug up before I started to show it on a video and it's a little smaller and I've already dusted it off with that paintbrush and as you know paintbrushes are very handy in the garden green peppers green peppers everyone loves green peppers there are so many dishes that you can use them in I did an experiment this year where I let one grow tall and I kept one cut off across the top to make it more bushy they seem to have yield the same amount of green peppers but this one seems to have some flowers still yet but I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some green peppers there's one from the bushy Looks good. And then one from the tall, which this is not as tall as my green pepper plants usually are, but this is a nice size green pepper. There's another one left for a final harvest on both plants. This is my red pepper plant. And as you can see, most of the peppers are already red. And this plant is so resilient. During Hurricane Alina, when we had the aftermath in Indiana, most of my plants were on the patio. But this one was tossed into another plant. And I've tied it up and it's still flourishing. So let me harvest some red peppers. This is really going to spice up my chili. As always, I always have plenty of greens to harvest. Yeah, the bugs are getting them a little bit. But before they get them too much, I'm going to harvest them. And none of them have the powdery mildew, which makes me very happy. So, look at this leaf. It's my biggest one. Now, if all my plants do that, that will be a lot of greens. I'm going to go ahead and finish harvesting the greens, but I normally don't allow mine to grow too big because I like them um, short and tender. So, I'll show you the whole haul of greens after I get them all cut. I got a healthy amount of collard greens from my latest fall harvest, and instead of using the collard greens as a side dish, I decided to make a collard green stew. I used some potatoes and carrots, red onions and green peppers and red hot peppers from my garden and also the collard greens and I threw in just a bone or two of these beef ribs that I had in the freezer that's going to give it some flavor and a little bit of meat. This is going to be delicious. Hmm. 
And so here is my whole haul. Some tomatoes and red peppers. Some radish leaves for a salad. Two delicious sized green peppers. And a pot of collard greens. Thank you for viewing. And as always, you're invited to subscribe. And I'd appreciate you liking the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you and come back again.